Hey guys! Welcome back to the Rudy Room for another video. It's your girl Alicia and welcome back for another day of Vlogmas. Christmas with Beauty Room Fitness and today I really just kind of took it easy. It was Sunday. I was enjoying my Christmas tree that I put up in my beauty room. If you haven't seen that video go check it out. Um, it's basically I just cleaned my beauty room and I decorate it and I've really been enjoying my Christmas tree. I have all my ornaments on it, all my Disney ornaments and I just I love it. I just love it and I just kind of like enjoyed the day and I did like some more decorating um, later on but in the morning I really just chilled and enjoyed my office and like I watched Christmas movies. <laughs> I watched uh, the Grinch, which is like my favorite Christmas movie. And I also like Home Alone. Uh, those are probably my two faves. But comment down below what your favorite Christmas movie is. Um, and then I just kind of drank out of my little elf mug that I got from Target and had my gingerbread coffee um, that I talked about in my Walmart haul. I got this gingerbread coffee from Walmart. And guys, it does not taste like gingerbread. Sorry to bust your bubble, but <laughs> I didn't think it would, but it does not taste like gingerbread. Um, but when I add my uh, Buddy the Elf uh, sugar cookie Christmas creamer in it, it does make it taste like more like a cookie, but basically it's mainly the creamer. It's not really the coffee, but that's okay. I mean, I kind of figured that it wouldn't because like I said, a lot of times coffees do not taste like they're supposed to taste. But anyway, let me get into the haul because I'm just jabbering my jaws uh, to you guys because <laughs> I'm just enjoying the day. You know, I enjoyed my Christmas tree and I just loved relaxing in here and just planning out all my video ideas for you guys. Um, so if you've been liking, lo loving my Vlogmas um, so far, go ahead and give me a like down below um, and subscribe if you have not so you can get notified of more future content. So today I want to share with you my um, Dollar Tree um, Christmas Village um, that the Dollar Tree has been doing really well with Christmas stuff this year. They have some really cute stuff for only a dollar. And this year they came out with like a Christmas Village. I think they do it every year, but I don't know. I just never got into it. But this year they have all these cute little Christmas Village houses and they're only a dollar. And I saw the post office and my dad used to work at the post office and I, I it just like was nostalgic to me and like I, I had to grab it. I mean, I was just like, okay done and so once i got that one then i saw all these other cute ones and then like the ball started rolling and i ended up with all these little christmas houses so i decided to do a christmas village this year now i usually do a christmas village every year and i have these cute little african-american figurines that i put out um but now they're surrounded by houses so like my village has grown okay <laughs> but let's get into the hall so first of all they have all these cute little christmas houses um, like I said, the first one I grabbed is the post office. I just want to show you like what they look like up close. This one's the post office. I love that emerald green. Like that's one of my favorite colors. Emerald greens, ruby reds, and, um, navy blues are my favorite colors. Those are my colors. Like they're just like those colors that you put on and you just like make your color pop and they just make you look amazing. Um, so when I saw this, um, I like I said, I thought of my dad, um, he used to work at the post office and I just got excited. Um, and it was a nice little memory for me. So I went ahead and grabbed that for only a dollar. And I just like the detail. The painting is pretty good on these only for a dollar. So then um, after I got that one, I said, well, I don't think I need any more. But of course, I had to go and get some more because they're just so cute. So the next one that I got, um, I believe, was the bakery because, of course, I have all those gingerbread men in my kitchen. So I thought, okay, gingerbread men and a bakery would make a lot of sense. So I grabbed this one. It's the bakery, little bakery house. Super duper cute with the wreath. They have all the wreaths on the little houses. They're just so cute. I mean, I mean, for a dollar, they're pretty decent. On the back, I mean, you can look at the back. They have just like nice little detailing on them for one buck. You can't beat it. And then they have a hole at the bottom if you wanted to put a tea light in there. But I just use them just regularly I don't light them up or anything I just put them out for display because I thought they would just look really really cute um and don't worry at the end I will show you my Christmas village and what it looks like um I'm just going to go through and show you each individual house that I got for a dollar from the Dollar Tree and then we'll show you the village so the next one I grabbed was the toy village I remember them in order so I, next time I went in, I saw the Toy Village. Like I literally, every time I went, they had each different Dollar Tree had different ones. And like some, you know, they have like two each and like 
they'd be different from the other store. So I'd like see one I liked and grab another. So this one's called the Toy Village. That was super cute um, for toys, you know, because my kids, you know, they love toys and, you know, Christmas and toys. Come on, Toyland, you know, I just thought that was super cute. So I grabbed the toy store. And then the next one I saw and I got really happy because I think it's really cute too. And this one's a church. I mean, adorable. I stick this one. Um, I either I have it in my village to show you guys, but really this one sits by my nativity scene. I thought it would be super cute in the dining room. Um, but for the sake of the video, I put it in my village so you guys can see what it looked like. Um, also, but this is a church. I really like the stained glass windows on it. And I just, I mean, like I said, the detail is, is pretty good. I mean, come on. I mean, the detail is pretty fire. Let's give it to Dollar Tree. Okay. Clap it up for Dollar Tree because they did pretty good this year. $1. And then of course, I think they have little people that they sell at the Dollar Tree. Like they have little people figurines. They're like really tiny, but mine are like really like bigger. So I went with mine. So I didn't give it any of the people. I just kind of like the houses and I kind of, when I saw them, I knew how I was going to style it. So I got excited. <laughs> So then the last one I got was like this little Victorian house because I like vintage stuff and this one just reminds me of just like a nice little vintage Victorian looking house and when I was a kid like um growing up we had a lot of older houses like we had like old houses in my neighborhood like not in, yeah like in my town that were like on the underground railroad and a lot of some of these houses look like this kind of style like Victorian style. And like some of them were houses that were turned into like businesses and stuff. And I remember like going by in the <laughs> in the school bus or like riding by in my car with my parents and being like, hmm, like I want to live in that house one day or whatever. I just always liked vintagey type things and like I just liked the look of them and the style of them. So when I saw this, I thought this one was really cute and it kind of reminded me of those like vintage looking Victorian houses that they had in my hometown. Um, so those are all the villages, all the little houses that I got. So now I'm going to show you my village. So let's get into it. Hey guys. So I've been really busy like cleaning and organizing today. I wanted to show you my village and like all the village little houses and stuff I got from the Dollar Tree. And also I put up my stockings uh, today. So um, that's us. Our names spell out the word maid. <laughs> so those are all of my stockings. Um, I just went ahead and hung that in my bedroom um, on my little china cabinet and then I went ahead and put all my little Christmas village um, houses that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, this was just like a basic Victorian looking house and then they have the bakery and then these are some cute little uh, figurines that I have, Christmas figurines. I thought they look super duper cute out right next to my village houses. And then over here we have a post office and my dad he used to work at the post office so when I saw that one I definitely had to grab it and then my obsession started because then I saw the church and then I found <laughs> the toy village and the bakery and so on and so forth. So <laughs> I just had to go ahead and grab them but I just wanted to show you my little village that I have in my bedroom, uh, my master bedroom. I think it's really really cute and I really love my vintage figurines. Um, when we moved in this house, um, the lady who lived here had kept these and they were in the house when we moved in and I just thought they were super cute, like a nice little traditional treasure to keep in the home. So each Christmas I put them out and I really, really love them. I think they're so cute and I haven't seen anything like them out um, recently. You just don't see little cute figures like that. <laughs> little cute chocolate figures like that very often um, they're rare to find so I think they're beautiful and I love keeping them out every year and I just love that they look like me when I was a little kid <laughs> they're just so cute so I hope you enjoyed uh, my little village um, haul from the Dollar Tree and my little Christmas village that I have going on on my dresser in my bedroom thank you for watching and um, I'll see you in the future. Bye.